almost mythical. This was not just a strike. It was a statement of absolute control, a demonstration so powerful that it left observers stunned and opponents psychologically shattered. This punch was the one-inch punch, a technique that redefined what human power could look like when body mechanics, mental focus, and perfect timing merged into a single moment. The one-inch punch was not terrifying because of its appearance, but because of its logic-defying outcome. From a distance of barely an inch, Bruce Lee could generate enough force to send grown men flying backward. There was no dramatic wind-up, no exaggerated movement, and no visible effort. To the untrained eye, it looked like a mild chest tap. But within that brief contact lay a shockwave of energy that rippled through the opponent's entire structure, disrupting balance, breath, and composure in a single instant. This punch terrified people not because it was flashy, but because it was unpredictable. Traditional fighters relied on visual cues, a cocked arm, shoulder movement, or body rotation to anticipate an attack. Bruce Lee eliminated all tells. His body remained relaxed. His expression remained calm. And suddenly, without warning, the strike had already landed. By the time the brain processed what had happened, it was already too late to react. What made this punch truly dominant was the science behind it. Bruce Lee understood kinetic chains long before sports science made it mainstream. The force of his one-inch punch did not originate from his arm alone. It traveled from the ground, through his legs, into his hips, through his core, and finally exploded through his fist. Every muscle activated in perfect sequence, delivering maximal power in minimal space. This efficiency turned what should have been a weak tap into a devastating blow. But beyond physical mechanics, it was the psychological impact that made this punch legendary. Fighters who witnessed it understood a terrifying truth. If Bruce Lee could destroy you from one inch, what chance did you have from full distance? The concept alone was enough to shake confidence. Fear did not come from violence, it came from realization. Realization that they were facing someone who had mastered power at its most refined level. Bruce Lee himself never treated this punch as a party trick. He regarded it as proof of his core philosophy, economy of motion. Why waste energy? Why overexert? Why be loud when silence is more powerful? His one-inch punch was a physical embodiment of Jeet Kune Do, direct, efficient, and brutally honest. It stripped combat down to its purest essence. In demonstrations, men braced themselves, confident in their strength, only to be visibly shocked when Lee's fist launched them backward. Some laughed nervously. Others stood in disbelief. But all of them shared one reaction, respect. Because what they had just experienced was not brute force, but mastery. This punch also reshaped the world's understanding of martial power. Before Bruce Lee, strength was associated with size and muscle mass. Lee proved that power is structural, not superficial. Control over one's center of gravity, explosive relaxation, and perfect timing could outperform raw physical bulk. In doing so, he dismantled old myths and established a new standard for what true combat ability meant. The global fear of Bruce Lee was not born from violence or intimidation. It was born from competence so refined it bordered on the supernatural. His one punch represented that pinnacle. It symbolized a level of control few could hope to reach. Fighters, trainers, and military tacticians alike began analyzing his technique, trying to decode the mechanics behind that moment of pure dominance. Even today, decades after his death, the one-inch punch remains a benchmark of martial excellence. It is studied, replicated, and admired, yet rarely matched. Because what made Bruce Lee's punch feared worldwide was not only the technique, it was the man behind it, his discipline, his philosophy, his understanding of human potential. Bruce Lee did not just hit opponents. He exposed their limitations. With one simple movement, he demonstrated what happens when body, mind, and intent operate as one. That is why this punch was feared around the world. Not because it hurt, but because it shattered illusions of what was possible in combat. And in that single moment of impact, Bruce Lee proved to the world that true power does not roar. It arrives silently, precisely, and leaves an unforgettable mark.